Comrades, let's make sure that we deliver what we promise. I want to say to all of you that we know our enemies. I said we are talking to Esma Khashule. People are making noise here. I could be speaking to Zuma as well. Because black people must always have a conversation amongst themselves without the interference of the enemy. Why should someone tell me who to talk to and not to talk to? Zuma was not our strategic opponent. Zuma was an irritation. Zuma was engaged in matters that irritated us. But the strategic enemy has always been white monopoly capital. We even sang a song when we were fighting with Zuma. I'm not a good singer. We used to say, Zuma Sugendileni, Sukshaya Ngoba, Wemendileni Silwanamapunu, Asilinawe. That's what we said when we were fighting with Zuma. All of a sudden, these journalists forget. That we said to Zuma, Sukendelena, Silim Nawe, Sulanama Poon, today, hey, Malema is talking to Zuma, yes. Why not? Why did you allow Mandela to speak to the clerk? Why did you allow Mandela to speak to Bota? Bota who killed our people, the clerk who killed our people, Mandela did not only speak to the clerk. He even made the clerk, the deputy president of South Africa, knowing very well that the clerk killed our people. Today, I want to call him no Zuma. Because you once fought with Zuma. Who said they are permanent enemies in politics? There are no permanent enemies in politics. Worse, I cannot have a permanent enemy with a black African leader. Let me tell you, Zuma did worse to me. Kicked me when I was down. Took everything from me. Do I have to be beat about it? No. It's politics. There are no accidents in politics. Everything happened for a reason. We want to thank Zuma for kicking Malema and taking Malema out of the ANC. That's why today we have the EFF. <laughs> why form an EFF was Zuma? He didn't know he was forming it. There is no, you, you don't have to be negative all the time. In every bad situation, there could be good thing out of that bad situation. Why must I be bitter and angry with Zuma and chase Zuma to the grave? I have punished Zuma. It's enough. You know when you want to punish a president, make sure that president does not finish his time of office. They will never recover from that. You said to us Zuma must go. We fought and Zuma left office. Ufuna manji. I must go to Nganda now and chase Zuma in Nganda now. After you said to us, remove Zuma from office, mission accomplished. Give me the next assignment. I can't be concentrating on wrong thing. Now, you have given me a new assignment. You said to me, I must go remove that big nose from the office then. Senya Ishaya left big nose everywhere. I see that ugly nose. Senya Ishaya man, young darling. So nga zon chela ngo zuma on chela ngabu esma kachuluk peli le ngav. I'm moving to the next assignment. The next assignment is the ugliest nose ever in the history of humanity. I'm on it now because there is nothing personal. I'm in politics. I'm executing the mandate of our people. Why do you want me to? You are actually defocusing me. Um, Kulukut, Baturama Post. He's got billions of dollars. 
under the madras. Nyetingi yeah. funa la madola wena uta ya kuzuma. Mwenza nukuzuma. Ama dola ala. We want these dollars. We want to expose the corruption that was not declared by Malema. It was declared by former Chief Justice Nob, who said this man, who is a president, might have compromised the Corruption Act. If you don't love Malema, if you hate Malema, at least listen to former Chief Justice Nobo, who said the man has got a case to answer. The ANC uses its majority to cover up corruption. I'm not here to fight Zuma. I'm here to fight corruption. When I'm done with Zuma's corruption, I'm moving to the next corruption. I'm on the next corruption now. And that's what I'm dealing with. That's why they keep on wanting to direct me in a wrong direction. I will never go. When I go to Zuma, I'm going to drink tea. When I come back, I fight corruption of the big nose this side.